My name is Rob Montgomery, I'm the executive chef for Bar Sober Group in Central Scotland uh, and yeah, we're really happy to have you here uh, and have you in us today. Glad to be here. Uh, and so you're going to cook for us today the dishes uh, Bernese style pork belly curry. Yeah, this is a new addition that we've just brought to the, the menu. Uh, when I took over the company we had lots of good curries, you know, really staple, straightforward curries. But what we've tried to do is develop them using a lot of the history from Asia and really bring in dishes to, if you've travelled in Asia, anybody who's been over there, the, one of the main things about curries is the lasting flavour. You know, you, an hour later you're still tasting different spices. So we've tried to do that. So tell me, how, how do you go about making the, uh, the Burmese style curry? What's the, what's well, the what business? I've done is, uh, I had the Burmese curry uh, in a little town called Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand. And the way it all came about is Burma used to occupy most of Asia. Uh, and then when most of the bigger towns in Thailand started obviously getting their area back, they done a celebrated dish. So they named their curry Burmese curry, just as a sort of like, we've just knocked you out of our town sort of thing. So this is how this dish came about. Uh, and I had it, uh, but it was made with uh, pork heart. Uh, very, very rich, as you can imagine, it's insanely good. We've developed it, we've taken about four months with one dish and we've just got it right uh, for everyone rather than just for me because originally it was very, very spicy, you know, your nose would be running and all that sort of thing. So we've, we've taken it down a bit, we've then had to dilute, dilute it again to make it work in a restaurant environment. Sure. It's very easy to make one dish taste amazing, yeah. but then if you're making 40 kilo of that a week, you have to start making it quicker, you know, so we've tried to get the best product we can, but at the same time working in this environment, and it's, it's yes, yeah, it's, it's came out a great dish, and I'm very, very pleased with it. And obviously pork hearts, no, no pork heart. that well, no, so. no offal, uh, <laughs> for some reason, chefs love offal, uh, the general public don't, so yeah, we've went down the route of going with pork belly and pork shoulder, so that's what two cuts of meat in it, two very recognisable cuts, one very lean, one very fatty, the fat obviously just for the flavour, most people push the fat to the side, but uh, yeah. that's a good bit, you know, yeah. so... And the, um, I think, is it a paste? Is that the heart of the dish? Yeah, to start? most Asian dishes come with a base sauce or a base uh, curry paste. So the paste basically is, I think it's about 14 different ingredients brought together, different quantities. Uh, originally we started off pestle and mortar, doing it all by hand to make two portions took 50 minutes. So what we've done is obviously develop that into using ground spices uh, and then obviously using it in a robo cook and bring it together. We cook it out slightly longer to make these spices work, you know, so cooking the spice brings out the flavour. So we cook it for that little bit longer and take it back into a dry paste from being a wet paste when it's originally blitzed. Uh, and the end product is very, very good. Uh, the only thing it loses is something that we wanted to lose was the grittiness. You know, we eat in a curry in Asia, you, you end up with bits of spice stuck in the back of your gum and stuff. So that's, that's totally gone now, uh, and uh, the owner thinks that's, that's a very good thing for him. Uh, again, it, it just does work. And are there, I mean, are, there, are there spices very exotic, or is it the sort of thing that you would find in, in, in the actually, Asian supermarket? Believe it or not, if you like Asian food, it's the sort of thing you'll have in your pantry. Uh, when I went to do it in the house, I do all my developing in the house, my own environment, all my own equipment. Uh, and I just had most of the stuff, I didn't have to go and get it. Since you're the executive chef for the entire group, can you give us some sort of um, figures in terms of you know, how many kilos of chilli do you get through a year? Or yeah, or oh, I can give you one in chicken, which is blowing my mind. We're using about 90 kilos of chicken per week, chicken fillet, in each unit. <laughs> Gosh, so that's, uh, that's uh, arithmetic's not my thing, about 20,000 tonnes? Uh, no. You're obviously better mass than me. <laughs> the main thing about the thighs is you cook them right through so it flakes through the curry. So mm -hmm. you, you think to yourself, oh that's a lot of sauce. But when you get halfway through it, you're like, God, you know, that's a lot of eating. So it's really about taking your time and enjoying it. Uh, and another thing that a lot of people don't realise is in Asia, the rice is the dish. So the rice is the bit you're there to eat and the other bit is just to flavour the rice. So it's, it's a very important thing because a lot of people can go, oh, you've not got a lot of curry, and you're like, well, you've got to eat all the curry and all the rice. So if you give them more curry, they curry and a little bit of the rice. So we do put a lot of effort into our rice as well. You know, we put uh, an Asian book of garni in there and flavour the rice through. It's very, very subtle. It's a big, big difference. The reason I came back into cooking was because every day is exciting. You know, you don't notice 18 hours gone by, and I'm not even exaggerating now. The last four weeks, uh, me and the development chef has just started. We're, we're looking at doing, the most hours we've done today is 20 so far, and we didn't even notice it. You know, we were sitting downstairs having a beer, having a laugh, going, better go over the road, and then we're, we're like, oh God, we're wasting so going to kill us, you know. <laughs> uh, but it's very much because he is a very good friend of mine. Uh, it makes the job so much easier. 
uh, just knowing I know his strengths and his weaknesses, and in turn he knows my strengths and weaknesses, so we work very, very well. So, so it's all, in any kitchen, it's always going to be about teamwork, it's the... Yeah, that's it, and it's trying to instill that into a bunch of guys that came from a branded background. I know we're branded, but we don't have that environment in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Uh, if someone comes up with a way of doing the same dish in a better way than I've done it, I'm not egotistical. Oh, well, that's a better dish, let's use that, let's get that recipe done and put it out across the company. Uh, we've got a Thai chef in Glasgow, Noi, uh, and she loves to change my recipes. <laughs> but, you know, uh, she changes things in a way to her palate rather than for the broader spectrum, so she tends to make things a lot spicy and we have to pull it back again. Except for the staff meal. Yeah, except for the staff <laughs> meal, uh, which is love soup. So if you want to Google that one, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Sounds good. Google it. It'll clear any cold. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs>